Okay, Dala here, and welcome to a very special tech deep dive video. In this video, we're going to be looking at some error checking methods that Nissan puts on their canvas to prevent data from being corrupted, along with some uh, tamper prevention. This knowledge should apply to most modern Nissans that have canvas, like some amazing cars like the 370Z and the GTR and uh, Nissan Leaf. But before we dive in, just a quick disclaimer that this video might be a bit hard to digest if you aren't familiar with how CAN communication works. So I recommend you close the video now instead of commenting that this was just gibberish and unuseful. Alright, uh, do put a comment, that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, also all the information here comes from reverse engineering efforts, so it uh, might not apply to the particular vehicle that you are working with. But let's begin. So from working with the Nissan Leaf, there are three different error checking methods that I noticed that they use. They use uh, mprun, csum and crc. Some CAN messages have one or two of these tacked onto them to prevent communication errors, corruptions, faults, tamperings, etc. So let's start with the simplest one, mprun. So what even is mprun? Well, basically it's just a counter that counts 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0 for as long as the messages are being sent. Each time a message is sent, it gets incremented. And the receiving module checks that the counter was successfully incremented on each receive event. The general idea of mprun is to prevent frozen data. So what is frozen data? Uh, well, if the sender would get corrupted, messed up somehow and just start repeating the same old message over and over again, the receiver could detect this fault scenario by looking just at the mprun counter. Uh, another thing that mprun prevents is uh, flooding the bus with uh, malicious payloads. Uh, let's look at that on the next slide. So here is how mprun works. In this example, I have eight messages in a row and highlighted the mprun counter with purple. These messages are from a Nissan Leaf, the 1db message on EVCAN to be more precise. Here you can clearly see that the counter goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 for as long as the sender is operational. Uh, you can also see why it would be impossible to inject something in between these messages. Doing so would mess up the mprun counter and fault codes would be set. An example of someone trying this is uh, Mark Finn over at the uh, OVMS GitHub. He tried to stop the leaf from charging by spamming a modified message. Uh, it did stop the charge, uh, but uh, it set some fault codes while doing so. So in case you want to bypass the MP run properly, you'll need some uh, man in the middle device like the Maxon Canbridge. Okay, so now we know about MP run. So the next one on the list is checksum or csum, like it is abbreviated with using Nissan terminology. This one is also quite easy to understand. It is four bits, also known as a nibble, that contains the csum. When the module sends data, it adds up all the nibbles in the message and saves the last nibble as a result of all the content ones. It is a quick and dirty way to ensure error, no errors in the transmission, but uh, since a nibble can only contain a value between 0 and 15, getting double faults might cancel each other out and make the CSUM useless. Sometimes the old saying that two wrongs make a right can actually be true. But yeah, let's calculate this by hand. Uh, like I said, uh, on Nissan, the CSUM is the sum of all message nibbles with number 2 added on top. Here we have the message 1f2 that contains some data. On the end, the last nibble is the CSUM. Uh, in this example, it has a hex value of B. So this is calculated then by adding all the nibbles, 3 plus 0 plus 7 plus etc, uh, plus 2 at the end, and the result is hex 3B. Since the CSM can only be one nibble, the number 3 is removed and only B remains. Easy peasy. So the final error detecting code that Nissan uses is CRC, or its full name, Cyclic Redundancy Check. Uh, this error detecting code is used on many things like digital networks, storage devices, file compressions, etc. 
where you want to guarantee that the content is the same as when it was sent. Nissan uses a full frame for their CRC, which makes it better at detecting errors compared to CSAM. It is applied to most critical CAN messages, like motor control for instance. The LEAF implementation is a CRC8 with a polynomial of hex 85. I won't go into detail about the full math behind this, this video would get way too long. There are already some excellent videos available on this subject, so if you want to learn more about CRCs, hop on to some other video here on YouTube. But let's look at an example. Here is the 1dB message that contains very important battery signals. Uh, the last frame in this message is taken up by the CRC. The value for this example message is hex 84, but to calculate that, let's just go get a calculator. Uh, so I'm just using an online calculator and I entered the CRC8 and polynomial of hex 85. Uh, by then entering the CAN message data as an input and pressing calculate, it spat out the hex 84 just as expected. I also put a screenshot of the CRC function that uh, Maxan uses on their CANBridge solution. I'll have a link in the description for anyone wanting to check out the full code. Uh, there is some excellent source there, uh, Maxan's uh, open source solution for spoofing the CRC. I have used this quite extensively for all my projects. So then a quick summary here, um, it's puzzling me a bit. Why alternate between CSUM and CRC? So like I mentioned, uh, CSUM takes up less space and uh, takes less CPU to compute. But the CRC is way better at detecting faults, but it takes up more space. So it really is anyone's guess why Nissan uses both. Uh, I would predict that if they would drop one of these, it would be the CSUM for sure. But this is just a theory, so go fight me in the comments section if you know more than me about why both are present. So, the video is finally over. You are now an expert when it comes to the error detection implementation that Nissan uses. Take a few seconds to enjoy this picture of kittens. Now you can go and make some amazing project with your newfound knowledge. Finally, I would like to thank all my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel. If you like what you see, maybe click the link in my description and hop on over to Patreon and, and take a look. Yeah, I think this is enough for one video. Dala out.